Ooh, we got some big updates here for Ark Survival Ascended, man. This one has just officially went public earlier this morning, and boy, this is some really big news. And it is so big that it has the Ark community literally split in two, in my opinion, over some positive news. On one hand, we have tons of people and players that are very upset, and on the other hand, we have people that are very pro and very happy that this decision was made. And as always, if you guys enjoy the content be sure to subscribe here on the channel for everything arc related not just for ascended but the arc animated series and beyond if we head over here to news.xbox.com they are talking about the new game pass and what's currently on the horizon to come to game pass with actual dates we can see starting off here at the very header image they do mention it right off the bat coming to the xbox game pass diablo 4 the quarry arc survival ascended and more additionally they drop an image over here on the right hand side that does feature all the different games that are coming including you can see right down here Ark Survival Ascended. If we scroll further down into the article we can see that Ark Survival Ascended the cloud PC version and Xbox Series X and S will all be getting the Ark Survival Ascended on Game Pass starting April 1st. So essentially this is going to be in effect when the Scorched Earth map officially drops which is still set for April 1st at least at the time of recording this video. The article states respawn into a new new dinosaur survival experience as Ark is reimagined from the ground up into the next generation with Unreal Engine 5. Are you ready to form a tribe, tame and breed hundreds of species of dinos and other primal creatures, explore, craft, build, and fight your way to the top of the food chain? Your new world awaits. Beautifully put. Now let's dive a little bit deeper and talk about something very interesting here that I have seen with this announcement. It seems like the community for arc is very divided man we have a large sump of players that seem to be very pissed off and mad um simply just we'll we'll dive a little bit deeper in a second but they're pissed off and mad and then the other side we have is very pro and very happy about this decision so let's dive a little bit deeper into why the players are pissed off and upset so cutting directly to the chase obviously we all know that the main reason why these players are upset is simply due to they paid full price for the game and now the game is a officially coming to Game Pass. And for whatever reason, there's been this driving narrative of now the game is free to play and they simply wouldn't have had to spend the money in the first place. And I would like to counter this thought process with two reasons. Reason number one, we did not know when it was gonna be coming to Game Pass. Sure, we probably had a hunch that it was eventually gonna be coming to Game Pass, but we did not know when. So unless you were willing to just simply wait it out and never buy Ark Survival Ascended and hope that it comes to Game Pass, well, you simply Simply had no other option but to buy it at the time when it released but secondly here the statement I want to mention or try to counter with anyways is going to be what exactly do you do when something that you buy goes on sale at a you know significant discount like to give you an example maybe you bought some shoes from Nike and then months later six months later five months later hell even 30 days later you find out that Nike is running a 50% off sale for the exact same model that your shoe is I mean I feel like are you calling up the company and getting pissed off and mad at them because you know you didn't get the shoe on a discount I, I just I, I don't see the logic behind getting upset about paying full price and then the game coming to game pass and another very interesting narrative that I see people utilizing a lot especially over on Twitter is that Ark is now somehow free to play and I simply just disagree with that I mean sure players don't have to spend the full price to buy the game if it is on game pass because obviously if you own game pass then you you would be able to play the game right off the bat however keep in mind that game pass is not free and not everybody has game pass you either pay yearly or you pay a monthly subscription for it and if you don't have either of those two well then the game is technically not free still and you have to either buy the game pass in order to play the game or you got to pay again whatever price steam is currently asking to buy it or the store is currently asking to buy it and now as far as my own personal thoughts to arc survival ascended coming to game pass 
I personally believe this is a huge, huge, huge W for Wildcard and Snail Games. I think this is a really good decision on their end because I personally believe this is going to drive in a lot more players. You see, there's a lot of gamers out there that actually do not buy early access titles and they actually do not buy or spend retail pricing for games. That's why these streaming platforms like the Xbox Game Pass, for instance, exist. People like the idea of spending a small amount per month, in this case, $10 per month to access what? I believe it's like 400 plus games. Now, you might not be interested in playing all 400 of them, but in general, it's really appealing to a vast majority of gamers because you have the ability to just pick and choose and play whatever you desire and garner simply the days where you would spend a full 60 price for a game and then have to either go through the hassle of returning it within the return window, refunding it if you don't like it, or simply just being stuck with it forever or trying to sell it secondhand. In general, there are a lot, and I mean tons and tons of players that have Xbox Game Pass that have not picked up Ark Survival Ascended that now might actually pick it up and download it and play it because it is simply already included in their subscription. And I'd be willing to bet it's not just random gamers for other games or other survival games. It's honestly going to be a lot of players that have already been currently playing Ark Survival Evolved, and they're simply just not willing to spend the money to jump into Ark Survival Ascended, but hey, they already own Game Pass, therefore, why not simply download it? So in general, I think it's going to just be a massive influx of players diving in on April 1st when the game does officially drop on Game Pass. And this is really, really good, not only for the game in general, but also really good because we have that brand new DLC Scorched Earth launching the exact same day. Trust me when I tell you that this timing is not a coincidence. It is very strategically done here to ensure that they have a large boost of players diving into this new Scorched Earth map on day one. And on top of drawing in a lot of new players and more players to Ark Survival Ascended, which is a huge W in my opinion, I also want to remind you guys that if you buy an early access title, no matter what game it is, Ark Survival Ascended or any other early access title, just understand what you're buying and what you're getting into. I mean, you're essentially signing, you know, not really signing, but you're buying something that states that if the development was halted at any point in time or anything has changed, that you're fine with whatever the current version of that game is that you purchase at the time of purchasing, right? So you have to understand that. So the mindset of being upset or getting mad that you paid a full price or paid a price for a game that is now coming to a subscription service that you may or may not already have, I just think that's a little bit funny and a little bit crazy because at the end of the day, you paid for the game for the support of the development of that game. And whether you like it or don't like where it goes in the future, well, unfortunately, that's just the cost you pay. With that being said, though, guys, I'm very eager to know your guys opinion on this let me know down below in the comment section as the community is simply torn between upset and mad about paying full price for it and it coming to the game pass and the other side are very very excited that it's coming to the game pass and see all the potential of new players diving into the game and just bringing life back into the game when it comes to some of these dead servers as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe here on the channel for everything arc survival ascended related also don't forget that i do host my own natrado pve community server if you guys are looking to join that all you have to do is join my discord and you can find that link down below in the description with that being said though guys as always i'll see you on the next one